Okay, how's it going, everybody? My name is Abe Apilado. I am a lifelong outdoorsman, hunter, fisherman. I am a charter captain and owner of uh, Ehukai Fishing. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make some slide buckles or pigtails. It looks like this right here. Yeah. Slide buckles is used for shoreline fishermen predominantly. Um, also, some trollers use this type of system as well. But um, yeah, we're just going to show you and go over whatever stuff that we need to uh, get this done. Okay, so these are the tools that we'll be using today. Okay, these are the slide buckles I showed earlier. Okay, if you notice, this one is a little bit thicker than this guy, yeah? The only difference I see is uh, sometimes this one, when you fight a big shark or big fish, it can come oblong and it's not as good to use anymore. So anyway, what we're going to use is this uh, jig that I made. Oh, I don't know how much years ago, but it's just a, a hammer handle. And you can see these three pegs right here. This is for the smaller eye, which is this guy. And then these three pegs right here is to make the eye. Okay, this guy. And then this bad boy, see this super advanced tool that is to make the twist right here. I've already pre-cut my wire at our local fishing store. I believe this is number 28. It's a thicker wire, which is which I it's what I prefer. Um Hurts the fingers a little bit, but it's a much stronger material. So here we go. Show you how we do it. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to get our wire. My measurement for this wire is basically one length of the hammer handle. Okay. And then I'm going to take it probably... Uh, just over halfway. Okay. Ah, uh, excuse me, just under halfway, I guess. And we're gonna bend it. Okay, make one bend. Don't worry. Don't worry about bend over bending it because it'll it'll come back and I'll show you here. Okay, so now we take our jig. Okay. This is a right hand jig, okay? So there's there's a couple ways. Yeah, I'm right-handed, so uh, this is how it's going to go. Okay, so you get there. You see that? And you wrap this guy around. Okay. Now we get our eye. Okay, so you see that huge gap right here? How we take that gap away is you grab this. You flip your, flip the wire over. Yeah, and just kind of fix it. See that gap is gone now. Nice and tight right there. Okay, that's what that's what, what bites into the line and locks it from keeping it from uh, undoing. Okay, keeping it from coming off the line. Okay, now this gadget. Okay, you see how I got it? It's a it's a cylinder. It's a pipe, I guess. Just kind of grounded it down, yeah. Okay, so we put it in here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is here, we're going to grab it with our pliers. My advice to you guys, man, the bigger the pliers, the better they work. So grab the biggest pliers that you got and go for it, okay? Now we're going to make our, our twist. Okay. 
So you're gonna kinda make your pigtail. Okay, remember I said, man, you need some finger strength for this. Okay, so now we're kinda getting our form. Okay. The best cutters you can get, man, even bolt cutters, the better the cutters you have, the the, whew, the easier your life will be. So you cut this tab. Ugh. Okay, just like that. This one, we're gonna make it a weighted one. Okay, so I'm gonna get a weight here real quick. Okay, I have to get a couple more things that I forgot. <laughs> so we got these weights here. Okay, so I got I got about three different sizes. So you got one ounce, ounce and a half, and then two ounce. Okay, you see how long they get longer as they get bigger. Okay, so just a quick reminder that when you're making your slides, okay, when you're making your buckles and you're gonna put weights on them, make sure you have enough material to uh, put the weight on, plus enough to make your loop and to tie. Okay. So this one right here, we're just gonna keep it uh, simple. We're just gonna go with the short one, just to make sure we have enough. Okay, so you slide that guy on. <coughs> now, we gotta bend again, just like how we did earlier, okay? So me, I, I, I don't know. I like everything looking the same. So I want my, my loops to be aligned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna li line it up like that. Okay, and I'm gonna make my bend. Okay, like I said, don't don't be afraid, man. Bend that bad boy. Now we're gonna go to the small side. This is where it's gonna get a little tricky. Okay, especially with the weight. Okay, so you put everything in there. Get the jig fitting in there, okay? Now, we're gonna bend it right around that small post. Yeah. Okay, see it's a little bit crooked. Remember I said about big pliers? Just bend them back. And then make it look pretty again. Uh -oh. <coughs> okay. Alrighty. Looks much better. Okay. Now we slide our swivel on. Don't forget this part now, okay? Now we got the swivel. Okay, we're gonna grip this. Okay, you see how I grip the eye? Now we're gonna wrap, okay? So you want it to be tight. Okay, so when you bend, try and put the pressure, once you get it started, try and put the pressure as close to the wire as you can. Meaning try not to bend it from way out here. Okay, so try to get your thumb. And you want that thing to be just right, right next to each other. Make it look nice and neat. Okay, that is way more than enough. Okay, honestly, half a turn over this thing probably be good enough already. But since you had that little extra, okay, so now it's another tricky part. What I'm gonna do is make it perpendicular, bend it half more turn. So that was like this now, okay? So the, the next trick is how we gonna get this tab off without leaving a, uh, without leaving an extra tab, yeah? So what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna grab two pliers. Okay, the magic of big pliers, okay? Let me see if I can get it, okay? So one is holding onto the slide and one is holding on to the tab, okay? Well, what I'm doing with my left hand with this one is I'm torquing my hand over. Oh, here. 
and you want to lift and pull with the other one okay so what we're doing essentially we're snapping this guy off all right here we go try with another guy okay See how that breaked off nicely. And there we go. Perfect one ounce slide. Ready to hit the water. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that was it, man. You know, making stuff like this is expensive. When you buy it in the stores, you save a little money when you do it on your own, yeah? Um, if you like stuff like this, guys, I'm going to try and put out more videos. Fishing, maybe some hunting stuff. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, you guys have a good day. That was making a slide buckle or pigtail. All right. You guys take care. Aloha.